Okay, we're going to solve some simple equations by addition and subtraction. Let's just get started with some examples. Let's look at number one here. 2 is equal to 10 minus b. So I get this b by itself, right? So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So now I've got 12 is equal to a negative b. And this is really the same thing as negative 1 times b. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1, and b is equal to negative 12. So let's look at that one again. 2 is equal to negative 10 minus b. If you want, you can just flip this. Because sometimes people like their um, variable on this side over here. You can switch everything if you want. You still add 10 to both sides. That negative b is equal to a 12, divide both sides by negative 1, and b is equal to negative 12, once again. So we got another example. Let's move on down here to um, 5. So here you got a plus 14. We don't know what a is, but we know when you add 14 to it, you get 23. So building on that, I'm going to do our inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides. So I'm just left with A over here. Then 23 minus 14 is just 9. To check that, you take 9 plus 14. That's equal to 23. So we know we got it right. Let's look at 6. Sometimes problems like this throw people off. You got a, two negatives here, right? A negative times a negative is a positive. So first thing I would do with this is I would rewrite it as 11 is equal to x plus 19. So we got this unknown number x. We want to figure out what it is. Well, let's just work with what we know. We know if we add 19 to x, we get 11. So let's just think about this. So let's do our inverse operation, so we're going to subtract 19 from both sides and give us a negative 8 is equal to x. Let's see if that works out for us. You got 11, is that equal to negative 8 plus 19? You add these two numbers together, you get 11. Well, that's 6. Let's do just a few more here. Let's look at 9. So we got 15 plus r is equal to 6. So we got 15 plus some unknown number r is equal to 6. Our job here is to figure out what 6 is. Well, since that's a positive 15, we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. So now you got r is equal to negative 9. And to check that, plus 15 minus 9, that does indeed equal 6. And let's see, any more examples here that we may want to look at. Alright, let's do 18. Looks kind of interesting. You can, If you want, you take a problem like 18 and you do 13 is equal to x minus 6. So plus, because when you add a negative, it's the same thing as subtract subtracting so you add 6 to both sides so 18 is equal to x so what do we do we did 13 is equal to x minus 6 add 6 to both sides then you got 18 is equal to x number 19 we got these double negatives again right so remember negative times a negative is a positive so we can do 6 is equal to 6 plus 5. Ah, I wrote that wrong. So you got 6 is equal to n plus 5. Well, what number added to... So you got n, you're going to add 5 to it, and you're going to get 6, right? You know, you can also draw a model if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well... If you add, so we've got some unknown number, right? 
we do know about five numbers. So just one here, right? So one plus five is six, and that kind of makes sense. But we still do our inverse operation, so we subtract five from both sides. So you got one is equal to n, which is kind of what we see here. And that's uh, working at solving simple equations. As, as we work through these uh, problems, we'll get into some more advanced problems. Eventually, we'll have something that looks like this. And then you want to subtract 4 from both sides, and you have 2x is equal to 4. Uh, both sides by 2, x is equal to 2. So what we're working towards, but we got the easier ones done. So good luck. This uh, sheet's on the uh, website, algebraglassnotes.com. If you're on YouTube, just click on the description or the link, link in the description and you'll find it.